What happens when two smart pointers own each other? You create an object A that owns a shared pointer to B, and B holds a shared pointer back to A. It compiles, runs, and seems fine, but when we do this, as we can see, neither of our destructors are called. Um, if shared pointer is supposed to manage memory safely, why is it leaking here? Take a second to think about this, and I'll go ahead and explain the solution in a moment. So this is a classic ownership cycle using the shared pointer. A owns B and B owns A, so each object is keeping the other alive. When they go out of scope, their reference counts never reach zero and the destructors are never run. Even though you're using smart pointers, we've actually created a memory leak here. So let's go ahead and talk about what a weak pointer is and how it's the solution to this problem. A weak pointer is a non-owning reference to an object managed by a shared pointer. It doesn't affect the reference count, which means it won't prevent the object from being destroyed. You can use a weak pointer when you need a link between objects, but not ownership. So to fix this cycle, one side of this relationship, typically the one that only the observes, should use weak pointer. And so we'll set that to this one here, for example. So here we just change this to a weak pointer instead of a shared pointer. Uh, you know, so we still have the ownership from one side, but not the other. And this breaks our ownership cycle. So when main ends, both A and B's reference counts will be zero and their destructors are called. And we can see that when we run this code here and both B is destroyed and A is destroyed.